Go. Hey guys, Cheryl Gamer and here. The dog Gamer. And today we are playing some more Undertale. Episode what is it six this time? Um well we'll see when I get to uh, like uploading this stuff. Alright, so now last time we arrived here in Temi Village. Why do I have the mouse there? So now so last time we uh, did a bit of arranging around here in Temi Village, and we also uh, sold a couple of useless items as well. Yes. And we left a slot open in our inventory in yeah, case we right. find any of those. Actually, we could go back to that cooler from earlier and pick up some of that um, space food bars. Sure, why don't we do that? Okay. See, last time we were in this area. Where's the cooler? And yeah. So anyway, let's um, like like I said, head back to the area with the space dried food bars. Uh, space? Yes. You got the astronaut food. Okay. Actually, wait a minute. There is a box in this area, right? Ah, yes, there, there is. is. The box. Yes, of course. And then, like, uh, put in some ash. Let's put in some of these nice creams and, like, have the astronaut food with us. Right. And then we'll have the other astronaut food. Look, there's actually. We can take more astronaut food if you want. Sure, why don't we do that? Yeah. yeah. Take a space food bar from the cooler? Yes. yes. Got the astronaut hey, food. Hey, what are we doing here? Welcome to another episode of Undertale. Are we doing it? Alright. See if we can grab some more. Cooler's empty. Oh, we got them all. So yeah, we uh, have an open... We have an open space in our inventory now. Along with some uh, space dried food bars. So now, that, so now that we have that, let's uh, continue uh, making our way onward. Last time we were going through this area, and I showed you where Temi Village was. Yeah. So uh, let's continue along with the main path now. Just this way. Okay, what's this? Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. So we got these. So what you got to do in this area is you got to interact with those lamps um, to keep the room light chance. and. So yeah, you gotta use those lanterns to keep the room light. Um, otherwise, it will become dark and it will be extremely hard to see in the room. All right, you walk into mode small, okay? We got. Oh, we got we got spare that guy. Yep. Yeah, okay. Spare. And uh, mode small is having quiet time. Um, why can't we spare this mode small? Fire. Okay, yep, let's just fight him. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, roar! Oh, what is that? Oh, to the Mold Beak has seen better days. Let's check this. Mold Beak, attack 18, defense 18. One size greater than Mold Average. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I'll be waiting for you. Go ahead. Keep All right. Keep fighting him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got him. You won. You earned 46 XP and 30 gold. Let's continue onward. Oh, Jesus, it's getting dark. Yes, yeah, so it was very dark. All right. We're at the end of the area. Alright, where are we now? This area was supposed to be in Okay. This. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh. oh, it's an echo flower. Let's see what it has to say. Yes. Behind you. Oh no. Oh no. That usually Oh, it's on dying. Great. Seven. 
seven human souls. With the power of hu seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer. Oh, Asgore was the guy that Toriel didn't want us to, like, didn't Toriel want us to stop Asgore's plan? Yeah. Yeah. We'll become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. Oh. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. It's, the, it's, it's a she, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to make her voice sound ladylike. <coughs> and give them back t the suffering and pain that we have endured. I'm trying to make it sound like what it's sounding like when you hear it. Something like that. Six minutes. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. Or I'll tear... Or I'll tear it from your body! Oh boy. Well, looks like it's time to fight Undyne now. Undyne! I'll help you fight! Oh, it's the monster kid. Hey, you're in the middle of a battle. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You got front row seats to her fight. <laughs> Wait, who's she? Who? Who's she fighting? Oh, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Well, that just happened. Good thing we didn't have to fight her yet. Yeah. Aren't gonna tell my. It's exact because they're echo flowers. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, this was apparently. Apparently, there was a pathway over here. We went the wrong way. Okay, more echo flowers. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. You hear a passing conversation. Someday, I'd like to climb off, climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, will return, and the underground will go empty. So, if you remember in our previous episode, um, like, um, that, like, tur turtle guy at, yes. at that shop, he talked about how, like, um, there was that prophecy saying that an angel who saw the surface would come forth and um, would free everyone from the underground and some people have been saying that that's um, it's either gonna be the angel uh, like the angel from the prophecy of freeing everyone or the um, prophecy about the angel being an angel known as the angel of death an angel that kills them all so that's what it's talking about. It's either going to be the angel of death killing them all, or a, another angel that will set everyone free. Which is sort of what happens in this game, because you sort of have the choice to kill these monsters or spare them. So it's sort of like, yeah. depending on which route you take, depends on sort of which, um, what, what sort of angel is gonna be happen. We are in right. right now. Okay. Yo! Come on, again? Really? Stop following us. You're gonna get in trouble again. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I wanna ask you something. Okay, what, what do you wanna ask us? 
Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kinda stick in that. Haha. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so that. Yo, say something mean so that I can hate you? Please? Uh, yeah, why don't we? Okay, you wanna make him hate us? Yeah. Alright. Let's make him hate us by saying something mean. Huh? Yo! That's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. What, what did we say? Guess I have to do it. <laughs> Yo, I... I hate your guts. That didn't work. Man, uh, I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yeah, yeah, you should go home. Yeah, he should. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yo, w w wait! Help! I tripped! Oh, we better... Oh, I'm dying. Oh, what should we do? Should we run from Undyne or help him? What, uh, when did you, you want to decide that? What? Why did you decide that? Okay, I... I think we should help him. Hurry up and help him out before he falls off and then make a run for it yo dude if, if if you wanna hurt my friend you're gonna have to get through me first well that it oh, just that's walks away. all right. Cause she doesn't want to hurt the monster kid. She want. She hates humans, not monsters. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Alright, well, he's going home. Undyne, uh, left. Well. Let's, uh, I don't know what's with this little path here at the moment. Let's continue onward. That's a very interesting looking pathway. Well, there's Undyne again. Seven. Well, there's like a factory in the distance there, isn't there? Yes, it looks like that. Yeah, a lot of machinery up ahead. I guess the next area is a more machine-like area. Won't it be? Yep. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. Fourteen minutes. Okay, okay, I know. First, however, as this customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Is that she gonna tell us like the war of the monsters and stuff that we've been through throughout the area when we were reading those signs? It all started. Long ago. Is this just like the introduction? What? This is just like the introduction, isn't it? It, it would With what it said at the beginning of the game? Yeah. Okay. Forget it. Look. Oh, what? Oh, you're not going to tell the story. Papyrus didn't come to his being today. Oh, that's right, because we killed him. Then we... Yeah, we we killed Papyrus, so he didn't come to the meeting. Say what you want about him. He's weird. He's naive. He's self-absorbed. 
but Papyrus has never missed a meeting. And no matter what time you call him on the phone, night, day, afternoon, morning, he always answers within the first two rings. But now he's gone, and his brother isn't around, either. What did you do to him? We killed him. That's what we did. What did you do to him? Pyrus, who I have trained every day, even though I know he's too goofy to ever hurt anyone. Go ahead. Prepare however you want. But when you step forward, I will kill you. Right. That that's the purpose of that little area there is cause this save point. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. This is it, Darth Hoyman Gamer. We're about to fight on Dine. Okay, so right. Final Dine area. Here we go. Let's go. That's it. Then, no more running away. Okay. Here we go. Here I come. On guard. Undyne attacks. Alright, and like every new enemy, we gotta check them. Undyne attack 50, defense 20. The heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. So this is a new axe aspect. What we gotta do is we got this shield here, we gotta block her spears. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Alright, All right, let's do it. I did a little damage. Not bad. Then, how about this? So yeah, we gotta use this shield to block her spears. I don't exactly get the whole point of the color because it's sort of a uh, useless thing. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word. Heroically toward the sky. Towards the sky. All right. All right. Oh, you didn't make the choice, but I decided to fight her. Yeah. For years. Oh, jeez. Uh, for years we dreamed of a happy ending. Was what she said. I didn't get to say it because it smells like sushi. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so ugly. Fight! Fight! This. All right. Let's fight. Ooh, nice got it. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Oh, yeah, I missed that one. Usually I don't mess up real easily on this fight. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Alright, again. Nice head there. You won't I won't let you snatch it away from us! Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Bring it on, Undyne. Ooh. Oh yeah, we just got it. Yeah, enough warming up. So yeah. Oh, there we go. She okay. turned our soul red again. So one thing I want to mention is that like when we're green like that, basically we won't be able to like flee from the battle. Because like when you free flee from a boss battle, usually like um. You usually head back and you go can go back and prepare yourselves if you think that you can't win against them. But yeah, so basically when you're green you can't flee from her. So yeah, I just like to mention that. Yeah. Now actually f fleeing from heh, you're tough. Now actually fleeing from this ba battle is actually how you spare her. That's the only way you can spare her in this battle is by fleeing from her. Okay, Undyne Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. Alright, let's get her. Nice! Alright, almost got perfect there. But even if you could beat me. Oh, we will beat you, Undyne. We will beat you. 
And she turned her soul green. Undyne bounces impatiently. Ooh, Nine, very close eight. to perfect there. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Uh, uh, uh sorry, lost track there. Undyne pounds, thinks of her fists and pounds the ground with her fists. Honestly, killing you is now an act of mercy. Yeah, th this move trolls you there by having that slow and then just fires a bunch of fast ones at the last one. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Her spear impatiently. Oh! There you go. Anyone else would be dead by now! And well, we keep dodging all your spears, almost all of them. Usually, I'm able to dodge them all. Flower pollen drifts in front of you. Flower pollen. I I don't know completely know what that means. Flower pollen drifting in front of me. Oh, perfect, Ted. There we go. Alfie's told me humans were determined. Those yellow ones are the ones you have to worry about. They'll, like, go to the other side of you before they do. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Oh! Uh, none of them hit the center. I see now what she meant by that! Oh! The wind is howling. That That's actually the wind in the background howling back there. That's supposed to be the wind howling, which is why the background's moving. In case you didn't notice that. Uh, no. We're getting close to beating her, but I'm determined to. Oh, that was great. Flower pollen just in front. What does it mean by that? Does like that mean? Is. Is this not done? Okay, almost there. Yeah, die already, you little brat. There you go. Undyne flips her spear. So when it said flower po pollen drifting in front of me, is it saying that like um she's uh flowers? Yeah, like may like the echo flowers from hot land or something? No, it did not make us sneeze or well, sneeze, or else it would have told us that in the dialogue. Huh. Almost there. You're getting in my way. The spears pause for a moment, giving us a chance to finish her off. Do it. One, twelve. I will not be defeated. Uh, you're almost finished, actually, unless this is your final attack, which she actually doesn't have so any sort of final attack. The spears pause for a do moment, it. giving finish us a chance to finish her off, or we could flee from her now and Let's do the spears. Her. Okay. Her That's gone. it. We got her! Yeah. You were stronger than I thought. Oh, there goes the wind. So then, this is where it ends. Yep, that's it. No. No. Oh, her eye changed color now. What? No! I won't die! Alfie's. Asgore, Papyrus, everyone is counting on me to protect them. <sighs> Human, in the name of everybody's hopes and dreams, I will defeat you. Undyne, look, Undyne looks determined. Alright, come on, just, just die already, okay? Come on, is that all you got? Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. oh, that was great. Yeah, that was good. Time. Undyne is smiling as if nothing is wrong. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, oh, there's something wrong with you, Undyne, if you're not dying. Well, it looks like she's about pathetic. Well, it looks like she's about to die with her bottom part looking like it's deteriorating. You're going to have to try harder than that. You sure did. Just admit defeat already. Yeah, come on, You're already finished. Undyne's body is wavering. 
Yeah, like that, where it's going in waves like that. Alright, come on. It, it's I... over. It... S see how strong we are when we believe in ourselves? But strong, but not strong enough. You're good, but I'm better. Our dying's yeah, body better. is losing its shape. Yeah. Fighter again. Perfect. Oh, perfect it. That should be it. <laughs> I mean, is that not hard enough for you? Had enough yet? Uh, it's yes, so actually. Yes, we have to wait until our body is fully. Um, yes, you know, about that. About wait till it's fully melted down. It's we gotta Dying's keep attacking body. her because she's like. You know how we have determination, right? Yes. Well, Undyne, like, um, she's having a bit of determination herself. And yeah, determination, exactly. and like, with the fact that a monster form is mostly made up of, like, magic, it can't, Her like, body. it can't completely handle determination. So, um, like, body. when you try and kill something and you put determination to mon a monster, it sort of, like, melts like that. Alright. Alright. Alright, that should be it. Come on. I won't give up. Come on. It looks just about there. Look at her spears are getting slower. It's obvious it's over. I think it, they're getting slower because she's getting weaker and her body's getting more oh, melted down. Away, yeah, so it's like... melting down like that because of all the determination yeah, no, and a no. mixture of us killing her. All right, come on. There we go. Ha. Ha. Elf is. This is what I was afraid of. Oh, look at that. The, even the dialogue is getting all wavy. This is why I never told you. Told told her what? Told Althus what? No. No. Not yet. I won't die. No. I won't die! Oh, come on, just submit defeat. Oh my god, she's melting. I won't die. I won't die. Uh, she's just flat out melting like that. There we she goes. Alright, we got her. That took a while because for determination, right. taking us time, but. There we go, we, yep. we defeated Undying. Alright, we got her. Now it's uh, on to the next area to get to the cat to get to stopping Asgore's plan and maybe finding a way to get through the barrier and escape ourselves. I have no idea. All we can do now is just continue onward and just sort of um, see if there's we can find this barrier thing keeping all the monsters trapped underground and see if we're powerful enough to travel through it. What is this? It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Sure, right. You take a cup of water. Okay. Oh, look at that, we're holding a little cup. Nice. Alright, let's continue. Same the water point. evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. <laughs> Alright, we're at a save point here. Alright, save point. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this where it's all like lava looking in case you didn't notice. Yeah, it's a real like yeah. volcanic looking area. Um, you're filled with determination. Right. Lab hot land laboratory entrance. So now we're in hot land now. That's next area. And down here we got the river man, which can take us back to Snowden or to um, the waterfall. Like the area where, um, like with Napsa Blue, his house. Alright. Yeah, also we got these guys up here blocking the path. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area, so, like, us rail guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best. Best, Miss Undyne. Okay, well. Let's head on in. The lab. What time are we at? Uh, we are at 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Ah, let's go through this part. Here. Oh, what is this? Is there a security camera looking at us? Should we not be in this laboratory? It's you. It's too dark to see near the walls. Oh, what is this? 
Well, I know it is, you don't. Hey. Alright. Alright. Darth, the Darth Hoyman Gamer's back, so we got this guy here. Um. Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's Royal Scientist. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your jo journey through my console. Oh, have you, um, set up, like, security cameras all over the underground or something? Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. Yeah, like our controllable character, we're sort of rooting for them to escape the underground, aren't we? Yeah, or like how we root for like Mario in the Mario games to rescue the princess from Bowser. Alright. So, so, ah, now, so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's camp castle. No problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. What is it? A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently, I decided to m make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti-anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Yeah. As you know, in most cartoons, usually when you say stuff like that, usually that happens. When you say things won't get worse in a cartoon, usually things get worse. That's yeah. cartoon logic for you, everyone. And here, probably Metaton's about to appear in the room, isn't he? Did you hear something? Yeah, we Yeah, something's clanging their way in here. Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome. Beauties, this is your auto TV star speaking. Two two days quit show. Is that the robot? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There is only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Metaton attacks. Okay, we, let's check this guy, see what's going on here. Metaton attack, 30 defense, 255. Is that a joke to the old Nintendo console's max limit? His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Money, mercy, new car, more questions. You think it's mercy? Okay. Nope! Ha ha! You... You... I didn't get to read that. The quiz show continues. Well, what should we do? It said that his metal body makes him invulnerable. What should we do? Okay, just do whatever we can. 
even though his body is invulnerable. Yep, it does nothing. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? It was Asgore Dreamer, we know that. <laughs> Dr. Friendship. Correct. What a terrific answer. The quiz show continues one now. Since we know that, um... What was it got? Since we know he's invulnerable to attack, what do you think we should do? Okay, let's, um, see what we can do in the act menu. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Okay, so that won't do anything then. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, metal, magic, snips and sails, or sugar and spice. Okay, well, since he's a robot, I would say metal, right? So metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Quiz show continues. Alright, um, well, crying is against the rules, that won't do anything, so maybe we spam. Here's another EZ one for you. Two trains, train A, train A, smart, set, 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 the quiz show continues. Okay, our HP is getting a bit low. We should probably eat something. Let's uh, let's use the bandage. How about that? All right. You reapplied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. Recovered 10 HP. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Oh, jeez. <laughs> there isn't an all of them choices. These are multiple choice questions. Let's just uh, see. Completely, utterly oh, wrong. That took half our health. Oh, yeah, it seems to be keep draining half our health. So I guess it's impossible to lose this. The quiz show continues. Let's keep peeling just to be sure, though. Um, let's have monster candy. You wait the monster candy. You recover 10 HP. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Frog it wins on one small set. Okay. Yeah, that one's pretty obvious, it's Froggit. Boy, what? that's embarrassing, huh? Oh, it was a close-up version of Metaton in a t-shirt. Oh, okay. With Froggit on the t-shirt. So it was actually Metaton. That's what it was. Okay, let's keep healing ourselves with some more Monster Candy. You hate the Monster Candy from 10 HP. But can't you get this one? Would you smooch your ghost? Wait, the timer's going up? I guess they're all the correct answer then, so let's just go with A. Great answer. I love it. Okay. Let's, uh, may heal just a bit more with... Oh, uh, we're starting to run out of healing items. Um, we have the bicycle or the astronaut food. I'm not gonna eat the snow piece since we... That snowman said to take a piece of him and take it far away, so... I'm not gonna eat the snow piece. Oh, it's, uh... Bicycle. The bicycle. Okay. You ate one half of the bicycle. You covered 11 HP. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Okay. How are we supposed to answer after it keeps adding N's? Okay, let's just go with something like B then. How about we do that? No, no, no. Can't you read? Not. All right. Um, let's eat the other half, the unicycle. Oh, unicycle. Okay, that makes sense. You ate the unicycle. You recovered because the unicycle is like one of those things with the uh, one wheel that, like, you would see at like the circus. Forty-one minutes. You covered eleven HP. I actually didn't know. That. Time, time to break out the big guns. In dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Kitty, what is Mew Mew's doing? Oh, I know this one gets, uh, chapter 4 of it, she buys ice cream for all friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, it's actually very powerful message it's about friendship and... Al- Alphys, 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 Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have, have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alfie's have a crush on? Oh boy. Oh boy, even Alfie's is embarrassed about this. We got Undyne Asgore 
the human or just say don't the know. Human. Yeah, cause like didn't Alpha say that like she grew attached to our adventure? Yeah. So you think it? All right then. We got it. Siri, Siri, asleep. My, my, how psychic can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen. Smiling when you succeed. Shrieking when you fail. And always, always whispering. No! Wrong! You have to go that- Oh no, I gotta say in the auto voice. No! Wrong! You have to go that way! In its own way, is this not love? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. Was Dr. Alphys helping us out? I actually, she actually was helping out. If you, in case you weren't looking, she was like folding her hands, showing us which answer was the correct answer, like an A or a D, B or an A, oh, yeah. C. So yeah, she was actually giving away the answers and you didn't notice that. Okay. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that just happened. Well, that was certainly something. Forty-four minutes. Okay. Um. How to go there? Th that last question. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. Okay. Okay. Can we go this way? Actually. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Also, he was just in there the whole time waiting for Alfie to talk about something. Now let's look around here. What you got here? Uh, dog food? It's a half empty bag of dog food. Uh, Alfie's a do half dog or something? Wait, wait! That explains uh, the console of us on it from before. That's her, like, looking at us through like cameras which also explains earlier in the game like when there were like um hidden cameras put in certain places like um at when we first left the ruins that bush there was a camera in the bush and like behind the waterfall when we first entered waterfall there was a camera up behind there that was alfie's with setting up cameras observing us let me give you my f f phone number Th then, m maybe, if you need help, I could... Wh where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! Uh, we got it from Toriel, didn't we? Yes. At the beginning of- yeah, we did. It doesn't even have texting! Wait, a second, please. What are you doing? What did you do to my phone? Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hehehe. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Well, until so then, how about we have a look around here? Let's see what's in your fridge. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. Okay. You got the instant noodles. Can we take more? The fridge is filled with instant noodles. Oh, no, we can't. What do we got here? It's a computer. It's as accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Um, you saw what Metaton looked like, right? Yes, I did. It, it, if you looked... Uh, I'll get to it later, probably in the next episode of Undertale, um, I'll get to what I'm talking about. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda, that little thing next to the mouse here. It's a beat up figuring of a female human with cat ears. It's on this side. Okay, it's the same thing. Okay. 
papers. Seems like notes to something. But it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game. Or, or what? Like lottery tickets? Um, let's see, what is this? A garbage can. But it's pretty cute. How the garbage can cute, exactly? There's the monitor of us that seems to be on this area. Let's see what's uh, up ahead. We got Alphys in there in the bathroom, it seems. Uh, yeah, it's it's okay, alright, let's um get hurry up and get to the next save point and be done, so what are these scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these boxes are like human history, um but we're sort of in a hurry at this time, so let's not read any of those books. They actually aren't important, they're just like comics and st stuff that's just fiction stuff. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Hey, what is this? Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. Portrait up there. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the land, say there's no... I didn't really get much into reading that, because I want to hurry up and finish. Incredible invention. What, the cube? When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy-to-draw box. Okay, so that's a bed that when not used to. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. I mean, like, Metaton at some point had the dream of being a star even when just being built or something. Alright, moving on, let's uh, find a nearby set. Alpha's updated it says. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human um, V. V? Or is that like Roman no num Or is that like Roman numeral for 5.5? Alfie's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Wait, you can't. She's dead. We killed her. Right? Alfie's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. A little happy face or something. Go way up. Uh, Vulcan's chosen. We gotta check them. Vulcan, attack 25, defense 0. Mistakenly believes it's lava can heal people. Ah, I'll help. Healing magmas. How can magma heal you? That stuff's like really hot. Vulcan parades around the room. What? What What would we do? Let's fight. Okay. Oh, that, that got killed fast. Let's go. Alfie's update says, gotta call them in a minute. Okay. Alright, come on. When's the next save point? We're gonna end the video once we get to the next save point. There it is. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. Oh, I didn't get to read that. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Alright, Hotland Magma Chamber. Alright, so we're gonna leave this episode here, everyone. Yep. That's about it for this episode. And, um... There were... Yeah, so, um... You may have noticed this episode, there was a bit of editing out. If not, then I... I don't know what to say about that. Um, but basically, yeah, we've been getting into a bit more of editing videos now, so... To improve the video experience, and remove unimportant stuff and stuff that may we don't want you to see anyway guys that's it for this episode this is cheryl gamer and we'll see you all next time bye